Hello, I'm Wilmer Kearns, and I'm reading from a book about being the husband of a suffrage activist. I know what it was like. I was there. Don't think we men marching at the tail end of the first suffrage parade down Fifth Avenue in New York didn't feel every hostile taunt. It takes a better man than I've met yet to face the mirth of a mob without some of it getting under his hide. Out in the middle of Fifth Avenue's width, we felt a heap isolated. It went beyond that. We felt ostracized. Tagging after the girls. That's what we were doing, and nobody would let us forget it. Go back to your kid days and remember how the gang sat in judgment of you for your failure to shine in the full glory of a budding male. They rounded on you, called you crybaby, and callously told you to go play with the girls. You get an idea of what it was like out there, unchaperoned, entirely surrounded by empty asphalt, with two or three hundred thousand people earnestly cracking their larnixes and calling us sis or henpeck. That's what it felt like when I joined my wife Edna and daughter Serena when marching in votes for women parades. We men marchers survived and won, and someday I'll pass on these stories to my grandchildren. Carry on the spirit of 1776, suffragewagon.org.